Folly Beach will head to the polls to vote in a special election to decide who will fill the remainder of a council member's term. And Kennedy Buck spoke with both candidates vying for this seat, and she joins us live from Folly Beach to share the changes that they would make if elected. Kennedy, what do they tell you? Hey, good morning, Mel and Alyssa. Yeah, that's right. Two candidates are vying to fill the seat of former Councilman Eddie Ellis. And I spoke to both candidates, and they tell me they have been living on Folly for more than 10 years, and they love the area, but both have different ideas on how exactly to improve Folly Beach. Now, starting off, we have Jody Lynn Rogers. Now, this is not her first time running for city council. She actually ran back in November, but ended up losing. She's now running again with the people of Folly on her mind. And if elected, she plans to focus on pedestrian safety, creating more walking paths and storm drainage maintenance. Besides her extensive background as an executive, Rogers feels like she can bring her business and teamwork skills to city council and even some diversity to the table. I'm a collaborator and a consensus builder, and I think we need that on city council. We have at least for the time that I've lived here, which has been 10 years, I've seen a pretty, um, pretty uh, unbalanced city council. I think we need a council that's more representative of the people that live in the community. We have one woman on city council of seven members right now. I'd like to see that increase and certainly diversity of thought and ideas. And in the meantime, Skip Fink said he's not a politician, but still believes he can be the best leader. Fink has a military background and two master's degrees and believes he has the education and discipline to listen to the community. And if elected, he would focus on traffic congestion, erosion and drainage. But he also wants to emphasize the importance of the community's senior citizens. Uh, Folly has residents that have been here 50, 60 years. These guys are in their 70s and 80s. They grew up here. Um, fully 40% of the residents out here are 65 and older. Well, they have unique evolving needs. And being kind of in that generation myself, they need transportation. Uh, they need assistance with getting to senior services. Uh, they need to have a willingness on behalf, on behalf of the city municipality, which is doing a pretty good job, to have activities for them. Because, as you know, the more active you are, the more vibrant you are, the healthier you are. And after the break, there's been one topic that's been driving conversation across all beaches here in the Low Country. Hear from both of those candidates again, but why they have different opinions on this issue. Working for you, Kennedy Buck, News 4.